Hey everyone, I'm glad to see that you made it back to the channel. I'm Jimmy and you're watching an absolutely epic fishing video on the Jimmy in the Wild channel. Before we get started, please smash that big red subscribe button. I've got a ton more epic fishing and outdoor videos coming up soon and you won't want to miss them. Also, if you like the video, please hit the thumbs up button. And I really do appreciate any comments you'd like to leave. This gives me an idea of what you'd like to watch. For today's video, I got a once in a lifetime opportunity to fish a lake that has been partially drained for the first time in 80 or so years. It's called Alcoba Lake and it's south of Casper, Wyoming, about 30 miles. The lake has been lowered by about 39 feet from its summer level so maintenance could be performed on its spillway. When the lake is this low, it makes all the boat ramps completely useless, since they end at least 100 feet from the new lower shoreline. That means there might not be any other boats on the lake today. And I'll have the best fishing areas all to myself. I'll be fishing from my 11-foot Perception Rhythm Kayak today. And I plan on trolling crankbaits all the way to where the river pours into the lake at the far end of Fremont Canyon. That's about a three and a half mile paddle from where I parked the truck. Once I get back there, I'm certain that it's going to be an absolute ultimate fishing paradise. The upper end of Fremont Canyon is a well-known, excellent fishery with a lot of big trout and the occasional walleye. It's also going to be very interesting to see all the items that have fallen out of people's boats and drifted to the bottom of the lake over the past 80 years. Ooh, here we go, we got one. Let's see what do we got. What is he? Feels pretty good. Oh, it's a cutthroat. Oh, he's off. He's a nice fish though. Uh oh, got another. Feels pretty big. Oh, that's a rainbow. Yep, big fatty though. There he goes, self-release, good job. The fish are active back here today, that's for sure. The bottom bouncing rig, free hardware. any fish in the sand. Just found an awesome fishing net. I was just saying I needed a fishing net. <laughs> and I found one. It's in excellent condition too. I doubt there's any fish in these first few pools, but I'm gonna go back here and try. I know I've caught a lot of fish back here before, but it was in completely different conditions. I'm not gonna walk in the water. I am not sure about that sand get pockets of much softer sand. Ooh, fishing pole. Look at that. Ooh, it's a, it's a Loomis. Is the tip good? The tip is good, oh my gosh. This pole's awesome. The rod is shot. Well, the reel is shot. Oh yeah, the rod's probably a little bit shot too. Or big thick rope, some anchors. It's a nice one. Rooster tail. Another anchor, another fishing pole, and a rod, a reel. There's another one down there, it looks like. Oh yeah, look at that guy. Oh my goodness, that's a big fish. That is a biggie. 
That is a pole bin and machine on a Panther. That is beautiful. Another Lake Rainbow. Nice big guy. Let's get him out here. And, oh, there he goes, he's off. But I did touch him right at 18 inches. Ooh, that's a nice one. He's a biggie. He's a biggie. Now he, he might be 18 to 20 inches. Just your average rainbow trout from Alcova. That is one pretty fish. Man, is he beautiful. Yeah. Look at that guy. Woo. Let's find a few more of those. He's right at 18, 19 inches. Back in the water he goes. Oh, there's another boat motor. That's my second boat motor today. Thing's ancient though. It's been in there a while. All right. Yep, and there's the power plant. Spinner's right there. Got one. Ooh, nice one. Big brown. The brown? Maybe it's just a big fat rainbow. Looks like a brown. Oh, it's a cutthroat. It's purple. We'll get down there and see. An actual cutthroat. Beautiful. Look at that fish. Oh my goodness. Yep, that is a cutthroat. Oh, there he is. Look at that fish. That is so beautiful. About 19 inch cutthroat trout. Here you go, buddy. Piece of a railroad track. Ooh, big one. Really big. See the 24 incher that we're looking for? It might be. Oh, he's off. He was big. Again. This guy's a biggie. I don't know what he is. I haven't even seen him yet. Oh, big rainbow. He might be 18. He's a nice fish. Come here, buddy. Now well, you're about 17 inches. Look at that fish, wow. Another 17 inch fish, he's pushing two pounds. Maybe just a hair more. Get him back in the water. Back up there in the biggies. I know there's just a stack of them up there. Woo, another big giant head shaker. Almost feels like I'm salmon fishing somewhere in Alaska but they're just <laughs> just big old rainbows and cutthroats. Yeah, that guy's, that is a bright, bright, pretty fish. Not the 24 we're looking for. Ooh, he's cut though. Hold on, buddy. Another one of these hatchery rainbows. Pushing two pounds, maybe 18 inches. We'll put them back in. There you go, buddy. Get back in there, get big. Another anchor. That was ancient. Oh, there's another, another big one. Right by shore. Look at that guy. Look at the colors on him. Oh, 
And of course, you can tell he's the hatcher. He's missing those, missing those fins on the belly. He's probably running 17, almost 18. There we go. Get in there. Another anchor. You need a big, a bigger lure, I think. Bigger hook. Ooh, there's another biggie. He's 20. He's a five pounder. Look at that fat boy. He's fat. Guy's got some mass to him. Chunky. He's 20, yeah, 20, 21. He's four pounds easy. Look how fat that guy is. Right at 19-ish, maybe 20. Boy, he's big. That's just a beautiful fish. Look at that guy. Man. There's another anchor. I think that's over a dozen anchors I found. Oh, missed him. The brown this time. I think I got a brown, finally. He's not giant. Got some piss and vinegar. Oh, look at that guy. Nice. That is a nice brownie. Love those colors. Love the colors. My goodness. Look at that guy. 17 ish. Maybe just a hair over. Skinny ish. Boy, he's pretty. That's my blood right there. Those are some sharp teeth. There you go, buddy. Keep an eye on that lure. Ooh, that's a big one. Oh yeah. Look at that guy. That is a pole bending machine. I think he might be one of the average 18, 19 inchers, but he's chubby. Very pretty. Another one of these perfect rainbow trout. Doesn't look super hatchery. There he is. Look at that fish. Might be right at 18. He is so pretty. It's definitely a hatchery fish though. You can see that worn off fin. Let's, uh, let's get him back in here. It's definitely a male. See that kind of a slight hook on his jaw? Very pretty fish. There you go, buddy. Back in there. Get bigger. All that other fishing pole. And and pulled up out of the rocks. Oh yeah, there we go. That's a biggie. That's a nice one. Go down here and see. Oh, he's off. Oh well. Totally whacked that thing out. That was a nice fish. Oh yeah. That's a big one too. He is a big, pretty fish. He is, ooh, there's a kokanee right there. There's a kokanee in the water, big red kokanee. It's a big rainbow. Nice fish. Right at a 20 inch fish. Hopefully, that wasn't too bad for him. Oh, there's a kokanee there too. I wonder if it's the same kokanee. Woo, there's another big fish. Man, that was right at the end of the pool. Ooh, a nice one. Look at that fish. Yeah, another 19 inch fish. That is a beautiful fish. So here I am fishing in front of the power plant that's at the far upper end of the canyon. I think I got a few trout to bite, but I couldn't get any to really stick. I did, however, catch four kokanee, which are also known as landlocked sockeye. 
I was sure I had several more clips catching the kokanee, but I couldn't find them on the GoPro. It's possible that the files became corrupt at some point. I did notice a gap in the clip sequencing numbers when I downloaded them to the computer. Ooh, oh, nice, that was a kokanee. Got something. Got something big. You are pretty. There he is. Kokanee. What a thought. Look at that. Kokanee salmon. Also known as a landlocked sockeye. All right. All the way across. Oh, that's a biggie. There we go. Another big fat female rainbow. She's probably 16, 17 inches. I think that was my 24 incher. Yeah, there we go. The big one. That's a nice fish. Maybe 18, 19. It's a nice fish. A little scarred up not bleeding too bad we'll let him go he might be 19 inches he's not the 24 that we're looking for today so back in the water buddy oh yeah I think that's my fish that is him let's go see it's not that big it's pretty though oh my gosh is he pretty all right look at that rainbow nice 17 inch rainbow maybe slightly more let him go though. It's a nice fish. All right. 16, maybe 15. Nice fish. It's the kind you want to take home for summer. Look at that guy. Woo. Wee. That's a big one. Another big fatty. That's the one I was going after. One fat, stubby little rainbow trout. There you go, buddy. Once I got back to the kayak, I fished the end of the lake where the river dumps into the lake. I managed to catch two more kokanee off camera. I let one go, but I had to keep the other since he took the lure way too deep. He definitely would not have survived if I put him back in the water. It looks like I'll have a fish to put in the smoker when I get home. On my long paddle back to the truck, I trolled with a crankbait. I ended up catching a few more nice fish on camera and a few others after my last battery died. I kept three more trout on the way back. That way I'll have more fish to put in the smoker than just that one kokanee. Ooh, got one. Just a little guy. We will keep him. Perfect size. Some giant spoons. Well, let's get some of this lake treasure. See how much of this stuff we can get. Some of it needs no hooks for sure. Some of the hooks are just totally toast. Okay. There's no way I'll get them all. Oh, that was a good maps. Just plopped into the water. It's as much as I can get safely off of that tree. It's like 15 or so. Some of these are ancient Rapalas, wiggle warts. Want to clean them up and see what we got. Some serious river treasure, but it's not a river. 
Only a few more corners to go around and we're on the straightaway. Oh, we got another. Nice. This feels a little bit bigger. There we go. He's a cutthroat too. Full-blooded cutthroat. That's for sure. Well, well, maybe he's a... Nice. Put him down there too. Well, it's definitely been one of those ultimate fishing experiences today. So many fish and so many cool things to see. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you leave a comment below, I promise to reply as soon as I can. Be sure to hit the subscribe button so you can find our way back to the channel for more fishing adventures. Also, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you.